one, two, three, add a fourth element to that, wherein you're with yourself, yourself only, and you're only thinking about what yourself is thinking about, and you're only doing what yourself wants you to do. Grab a drink and a snack and be ready to chat. Real talks only. Politics, boy tricks, fitness, what's it like it is? I tell it like it is, in my opinion. Let's as he says. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time zone that you're in. My name is Lisette, here to keep the real on check. Today's Real Talks, how to put yourself first, part two. All right, seven tips, seven reminders, how one can go about putting themselves first. I have my Palo Santo incense burning. This is not Palo Santo, the actual wood. So you can get the actual, real, authentic wood to burn. Ooh, you cannot see, but it's a, it's sparkly. There's like sparkles on it. Oh, this thing smells so heavenly. This is the actual authentic Palo Santo wood that you can burn. I have the incense stick going at the moment. This is Palo Santo incense. Because I don't want to always burn this. Anyways, um... The biggest property known, property benefit known from burning Palo Santo is healing. I need a lot of healing for when the body mash up, mind mash up, soul mash up. You burn this. Heal yourself. How to put yourself first, part two. Let's get right into the video. How to put yourself first, point number one, making time for yourself. We always make time for others. You hear the saying, oh, if they're not replying to you, if they're not getting back to you, that means they are not interested in a friendship, they're not interested in you because we always make time for those we care about. So always remember, put it in the back of your head, that making time for others also extends to making time for yourself. If you can make time for others, you can most definitely, and I think before you make time for others, you should be making time for yourself. I already have two personalities. I already kind of somewhat talk to myself. I promise I don't answer myself, but I talk to myself at times. And if you want to call me crazy, you can call me crazy, though. I believe that everyone is crazy, and crazy, the definition of it, is just a social construct to categorize and de-characterize people, basically. So you want to have that one-on-one -on -one moment with yourself, whether that means talking to yourself, I can do it, I can do this, I can get through my day, tomorrow's another day, etc., etc. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a self-mantra. Furthermore, making time for yourself will allow you to get into tune with yourself. Have a moment to refresh your mind, okay? And when you're refreshing your mind, you're reminding yourself on your visions, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, etc., etc., that may have been muddled or washed away from the outside world by being in the outside world, by being around others. Because when we're around others naturally, what happens is we interject ourselves into the world that we're in. If we're at work, I now have a work life. Where I'm somebody else at work, when I'm at home, I have a home life. I'm somebody else when I'm at home, when I'm with my friends, I have a friend life. I'm somebody else when I'm with my friends. So what you would want to do now is one, two, three, add a fourth element to that, wherein you're with yourself, yourself only, and you're only thinking about what yourself is thinking about, and you're only doing what yourself wants you to do. It's very important because the outside world can very easily get you all muddled, all comfuffled, and you forget. So you can easily forget what your vision and your plan is. And there's nothing wrong with forgetting. Again, social construct, all these things that make us believe that we're terrible people. Oh, I forgot your birthday. Oh, I forgot this. I mean, it's natural. It's a natural thing. But what's important there is that once you forget, 
giving yourself time to remember. Remember you, remember yourself, remember what you wanted out of that situation or this situation. Just remember what you want. Number two, maybe even within the time of number one, putting yourself first, you can focus on a beauty regimen and a hygiene regimen. Two things, very important. Doing those things consistently and, and allotting time to, to do it, it will boost your confidence. These two things will boost your confidence. Because when you're feeling good, feeling fresh, fresh face, smooth like a baby's bottom, nails did, hair did, makeup on point, smelling good, downstairs fresh, upstairs fresh, everywhere fresh, so fresh and so clean. You can't tell me that you are not going to be walking out your house like the baddest bitch or the most pretty boy that you could ever dream or imagine. I can give some pointers on what I do. I wash my face with black, African black soap, the authentic kind, not the kind that is labeled in stores. My African black soap comes in literally a Ziploc bag, it's made authentically. Also, for my astringent, I used to use apple cider vinegar mixed with water. There's some controversy there. Research, research says, you know, apple, apple cider vinegar is actually very toxic, or uh, is very harsh on the skin. So I've moved from apple cider vinegar as my astringent toner to witch hazel. So now I use witch hazel, the original Dickinson's witch hazel, as my toner. What else? Tea tree, ooh, tea tree is the magic ingredient, okay? Some breakouts, you wash your face, and you will apply the tea tree into the areas that you want. You don't need to put tea tree all over your whole, don't douse your face with tea tree, because tea tree is strong, like 100% pure tea tree oil. It's gonna have a strong, astringent-like smell. So you're gonna put that only on the desired locations and I promise you tomorrow you're gonna wake up, your blemishes are gonna be, they're gonna, if they're not gone, they're, they're gonna be diminished greatly, greatly diminished. What else, what else, what else? Uh, I use this thing called Vico Sweet Cream. I probably have to show you. This is a Vico. It is a turmeric face cream with sandalwood oil. It's called Vico, but me and my mother call it sweet cream because it's, it smells so good. And it works so sweetly, okay? It makes the face so sweet. Tone out, clear out, everything out. Listen to me, Vico, I'm not too sure where you'd be able to purchase this. Where I get this is the Indian grocery store. I also use, when I'm not using black soap, because black soap can be harsh over a period of time if you're always using black soap. Black soap is a very strong soap. So alternatively, I use neem, Himalaya, Himalaya, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I don't have nothing on me right now. Himalaya. Honestly, I've seen this in Walmart. I was so floored when I seen this product in, in, in Walmart. Neem Wash, it's what it's called. I originally always purchase, and I will always purchase it from the Indian uh, grocery market, grocery store. But I seen this product in Walmart, and I was like, Walmart always, always has to jump on things, but whatever. So that's that. That's my little beauty, uh, some beauty tips. The things that keep my face fresh and obviously I shower I shower every single day if I can that's not a weird thing I know for some that might blow your mind but yes especially if I've exerted myself and, and have done lots of physical activity I'm going to shower I'm not waiting till the next day or the next morning I like to shower in the morning more than in the evening but I do for the most part shower every evening it is what it is, I like to be clean. Number three, you can buy yourself things. 
don't ever get it twisted. I love it. I love it. I love it. Buy myself stuff every single day. Okay? And it's usually stuff that is gonna better me. Like, my most recent purchase, I just bought myself a red light so that I can have some red light therapy going in my own home. I know this is a thing if you go to the spa, you can, you can, um, get sessions of red light therapy. Red light therapy is supposed to be good for brightening and clearing the skin, for pain, inflammation in the body. What else? What else? Um, boosting your energy because what the red light does is it, it targets your mitochondria, uh, the cells, the mitochondria cells within your body, which is your energy boosting cells. So it's like, it's compared to that of photosynthesis wherein the light from the sun hits the plant and that's how the plant grows so red light therapy works in a similar fashion manner wherein the the red light hits our body our human bodies and it targets the mitochondria which is our energy boosting growing cells and it's supposed to have lots of lots of lots of benefits to you i've only done like two sessions of it i did feel more energized throughout the day but that could have been like a placebo effect going because I'm the type of person that if I tell myself you're good I, I'm usually for the most part good so it could be working at, at a placebo rate right now but I'm gonna see over a long time I'm more than certain that I'm gonna do a video strictly just talking about red light therapy and how it's working for me i also purchased one for a very good friend of mine so we're gonna see how that works on them and i'm gonna give you guys feedback on red light therapy so that was a purchase that i bought for myself and if you notice i did throw in there i bought something for somebody else when you say and this is gonna be a real caveat a real quick caveat when i say put yourself first i do not mean that you're just not gonna care about anybody else that's not what i'm saying it's not what i'm saying at all but i'm saying that in order for you to even fathom taking care of anybody else or thinking about anybody else you must first and foremost take care of yourself and think about yourself first you have to make sure it's just like how when you're in a plane and the flight attendant then tell you you must put on your oxygen mask and your whatever whatever so so ever before you can go put on your child ever anticipate a loss of cabin pressure if we did we certainly wouldn't be at work tonight but if needed for oxygen masks off the compartment ever had Stop screaming, let go of your neighbor, pull under that plastic tubing is fully extended, place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. To activate the flow of oxygen, simply insert 75 cents for the first minute and 50 cents for the first minute. All of that plastic bag may not inflate. You are receiving lots and lots of gin. Oxygen, that is. And if you're traveling with small children, we're sorry. <laughs> if you're traveling with more than one child, pick out the one that you think might have the most earning potential down the road. And if you're traveling with somebody needing very special assistance, like your husband, bless his heart, or your wife, put on your mask first, put on your mask first, put on your mask first. Because if you go put on your child's now, and then you go blow out the window, your ch your, like whatever the case might be, you always got to make sure you're good first, and then you can extend that goodness out to others point blank period let's move on how to put yourself first point number four eating right you must eat right now this is something that even myself as I speak about it I'm working on eating right for the most part I don't eat too much meat but if you eat meat that's great that's fine I will say in a little demanding tone though eat meat in moderation that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Other than that, eating right just means eating the things that you love, not eating too much junk food, staying away from fast food. It blows my mind that as we are here in this moment in time with everything, all the craziness outside with the covert all around us, but yet the lines for the McDonald's go out all the way, all the way to Timbuktu. You see them lines be going, okay? Every place, Wendy's, Tim Hortons. I don't even know why I said Wendy's before Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons and McDonald's are running the thing right now, okay? And it blows my mind that people are like, and pizza too, which is the most, I used to, I went through a phase, pizza was probably the only thing that I would eat with cheese. So I don't really, I'm not really too into dairy products. 
I ha do not eat pizza. And if you see me eat pizza, it's a rarity. Pizza is the, is the most bacteria-filled food that you could ever eat. Remember, Lassetti says, told you. Lassetti says, pizza is the most bacteria-filled food that you can eat. I know this from first-hand experience. As my first year in university, all I ate was pizza because I went from being at home, then I went, then I went to living on campus and in the cafeteria. I wasn't. I'm a very picky eater, so there was not much that I would eat. But their pizza was bomb diggity. So I, I spent most of the year eating pizza for lunch and dinner. I wouldn't necessarily say breakfast, but lunch and dinner. And all the little snacks and meals in between, pizza, 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 pizza. And let me tell you how that it mush up my system, okay? I can't eat pizza. I won't go any further than that. If you see me, if you if you see me contradicting myself right now, you see me eating a piece of pizza, I must have been dead for hungry. I must have been starving to be eating that slice of pizza. Eat right, everybody. Greens, vegetables, you know that you know what it is eat healthy it's especially time you know with everybody needing to build their immune systems in you know there's sickness around us always you need to build your immune system eat right and when you're eating right make sure you have ingredients in there like your garlic your gingers your lemons your limes those are the things that are gonna really boost your antibodies within you to fight off diseases and colds and viruses, etc., etc. How to put yourself first. Point number five. Exercise, and I put slash yoga because these days I've only been like really mustering energy to do yoga, and even if that I have, I have my yoga dice where I just roll the dice and it gives me a pose for the day that's usually how i start off my yoga practice i will do uh, maybe like three cycles of a sequence and i'm usually donezo by then but exercise yoga it's physical activity getting out there not being cooped up in the house I'm not too sure how these social distancing things are going these days. I do not believe that we no longer have to stay inside. I believe stage three, whatever that means, I haven't really looked into it completely, but stage three is on its way. So I would say, you're allowed to go out and play. All right, go out there, get some vitamin D from the sun. Whenever we have, I know there's been some crazy weathers, we have some crazy rainstorms, crazy uh, tornado warnings. When it is beautiful out there, get out there. I have people, I live in an apartment building, we have a pool. I see the same people outside at the pool and I know that pool, you're only allowed to be there for 45 minutes at a time, but I'm telling you, there are certain people in my building that they like own that pool and they're at that pool every single day. They're just there lounging and I'm not even mad, I'm not even fully mad because they're just living their life, they're soaking up their vitamin D, they're swimming some laps, revitalizing their body. It just all sounds so great. How could I be mad? I should be doing it too. How to put yourself first, point number six. Keep your surroundings clean. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Once you keep a clean surrounding, it's a clean mind, uh, I, can, I don't know how that saying goes. I know there's some sort of saying in, reg in regards to what I'm talking about, but whatever. Always have your surroundings clean. That means clean your room. Set your bed first thing in the morning. I'm kind of a, a hypocrite to even be saying this because most days I just roll out of bed and I go. And that's if my room is, okay, let me correct myself. When my room is messy, meaning when everything is a hot mess and everything is a disaster most days I roll out of bed and I'm gone don't even look back at the bed but I noticed that when my room is in order when my room is clean when everything is put together and I wake up and I see that I set my bed I do my I make my bed 
It's the craziest thing. I will make my bed because I don't want one thing to be out of place when everything is in place. So the best thing to do is always make sure that your surroundings are clean, everything is clean. That way your mind and body and everything can be clean. I like clean. Cleanliness is friendliness, eh? All right. Big up number seven. This will be my last how to put yourself first point. This is a big one. Get ready. Drum roll, please. Help others with the intention of helping yourself. I'm going to repeat that again a little bit more loudly for you to hear. Help others with the intention of helping yourself. And let that sink in for a moment. And even in this moment as well, you can take this time to like this video if you like this video. Hit that bell notification so you know when there are more videos to come. I'm gonna give everybody moments so you can do what you gotta do. Think about what you gotta think about. Help others with the intention of helping yourself. All right, listen, let, let me just briefly explain what I mean by that. I don't want this video to go over 30 minutes. Briefly gonna explain what I mean by that. There's nothing wrong with being selfish. People have told us, there was, it's funny, somebody had commented under one of my videos saying that being selfish is a sin. I won't go into religion. I try to stay away from bringing religion onto this channel because not everybody has the same religious views. So I just don't bother to touch the subject. It's, I don't know. I'm just in this point in my life where doing for myself and I've always been doing for myself. I guess it's a complex that has kind of created out of, its, out of itself out on its own because when I do for others, I'm doing it obviously for them but it's anything that you do for someone else is going to in some way make you feel good or in some way it should in some way have something to do with you maybe I won't be able to explain what I mean thoroughly enough for those who are critics to understand but when you do something for someone it should always reflect back on your needs always and taking yourself out of the equation is never the answer. It's never the right thing. It will never go a good way. Taking yourself, doing something solely for a, a outside individual, whether that be your mom, your sister, your, your close family member, your husband, your wife, your spouse, your best friend. It doesn't matter who that person is. When you're doing something for them, it should automatically reflect back onto you and it should automatically be a benefit for yourself as well. What I want to, I guess, leave the Real Talks gang with this idea that I want you guys to kind of mull and think it over. Do your own readings, research, internally search within yourself. I, but helping others with the intention of helping yourself is not a bad thing it is actually a good thing because when you give to others you should be giving to them what you would want to give to yourself in a way when you do things for others you will be doing it or should be doing it with the intention in mind that I would want this to be done for myself so this is why I'm doing it for them that is an appropriate way of dealing with people you deal with people by a reflection of what you want. That's why you have that saying, treat people the way you want to be treated. So, in conclusion, you're going to want to make time for yourself, establish a beauty hygiene regime, a beauty hygiene regime, buy yourself things, there's nothing wrong with it, eating right, exercising, keeping your surroundings clean, and helping others with the intention of helping yourself. I feel like that last number seven is a really big one, but this has been part two to how to put yourself first, sharing resources with the Real Talks gang. 
to uplift and initiate self-improvement and their self-belief on 10. That is my purpose here of sharing this video with all of you guys. So if you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos to come. Lissetti says.